President of UN affiliate pleads not guilty to selling fake cryptocurrency World Sports Alliance has been called a sham by the US government. The president of the UN headquartered World Sports Alliance has pleaded not guilty to a wire fraud charge related to the selling of an allegedly fake cryptocurrency, Law 360 reports. Asa St. Clair, a resident of New York, is now reportedly under house arrest in Arizona having been released from U.S. federal custody on a $500,000 bond. Prosecutors sought strict conditions for his release, as he'd bought a one-way ticket to Madagascar in the wake of investigator interviews. Authorities arrested St. Clair at the airport. According to Law 360, prosecutors allege St. Clair defrauded at least three investors out of thousands of dollars with claims that World Sports Alliance was in a position to help developing countries with access to water, food, and sports facilities. Igobit, the cryptocurrency for developing countries that never existed. St. Clair's indictment claims he'd promised investors guaranteed returns if they bought World Sports Alliance's purported blockchain-powered digital token Igobit. Prosectors have previously noted that Igobit never existed, despite St. Clair having allegedly raised money for its launch. Instead, St. Clair is said to have taken investor money and spent it on dinners at Manhattan restaurants plane tickets, and other personal expenses, as well as those of other World Sports Alliance employees. The U.S. government has referred to World Sports Alliance as a sham affiliate of the United Nations. St. Clair allegedly touted his company as promoting the values of sports and peace for a better world, yet defrauded all those who invested in his sham company, said U.S. special agent in charge Peter Fitzhugh. As alleged, St. Clair used the money he earned through deceit to fund a lavish lifestyle for him and his family. St. Clair has however denied allegations he'd been scamming investors since 2017. His legal team reportedly argued that he'd only served as World Sports Alliance president for six months, and that he travels the world for his job, which supposedly explains for more on this story, visit the news article link.